Product number one, we have the Tal Pro. From time to time, we're losing our car keys and we need to go out and you just can't find your keys. But with the Tal Pro or the Tal Mate, you could be able to quickly locate your car keys using the Tal app, which is very simple to install. You just download the app, create an account, and you're pretty much good to go. And you just press one button on the Tal itself. So now at any point, if you lose your keys, you could be able to open up the app, tap on find and it's going to make a really loud noise so you could quickly locate it and if you and even better you could see a map so if you left your keys at work or if you left it somewhere you could be able to see the location exactly on the tile app so get this now thank me later now the reason why i went with the pro instead of the mate was because you have a louder speaker So it's going to be easier to find and having a better range, that's going to help with the sound. So if your keys are far away, 400 feet, you could be able to actually hear. It. And also, this is just not for your keys. You could pretty much put this anywhere. You Next up, it wouldn't be a best car accessories without mentioning an air freshener. The first thing I noticed right away when getting into someone's car is the smell. If it smells like crap, I just don't want no part of it <laughs> to, you know, call me an Uber, <laughs> call me an Uber. Even though if the Uber smells like crap, then, well, Houston, we have a problem. Um, but yeah, have an air freshener in your car, guys. Now, on part two, I use the orange cube, and I still use it to this day. And I like how the clay balls work. Absolutely love the clay balls. It just smells, it smells like a waterfall, like nature. But with this one here from Full Option, it smells like a new car. And not only that, you have an aesthetic, so it just looks cool. It looks like a showcase piece. It just doesn't look like an air freshener, but it is an air freshener. You have a scent pad. That is where you could be able to drop your oils, your favorite oils. Now, if you pick it up, you have an essential oil that comes in the box. This is their signature scent. If you're not a fan of that, you can pick up some essential oils. I recommend the top six, such as peppermint, eucalyptus, um, tea tree just to name a few but i love the pina colada i love the strawberry so whenever the scent fades away just replace the pad drop your favorite essential oils and you're good to go next we have a dust cleaning gel now shout out to my friend kmar he put me on to this normally i would recommend a microfiber cleaning cloth but this one here it really did surprise me it's basically a gel that looks just like this it looked like goo but you can get the creases of the vent or even electronics. You could be able to clean any dust or debris and it'll be able to lift it up and it'll be good to go. Now, it looks like a toy, but it's very practical when you wanna clean your car, clean the dash, clean like the little corners. It's always those corners. A microfiber cloth will get the job done, but this will be like for accuracy. Have this in your car or have it inside. I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna react to, you know, sub-zero temperatures. Cup holder, like the side of it where your, your, your rag can't get it. This is something that you're gonna need if you wanna keep your car clean. Now, next up on the list, we have a steering wheel food tray. Now, this is a must have, especially during these times where you can't sit at in the restaurant. You can only eat in your car or eat at home. You're going to need some kind of a tray to eat in your car because eating in your car is one of the most uncomfortable experience because you got the steering wheel in the way and then you got to hold your plate. It's a pain. So having this will definitely definitely increase the comfortability you even have a cup holder built in so you can store your drink and you can easily store it anywhere because it's small enough where you can store it anywhere now when you're finished eating you can flip it over and get some work done you can put the laptop or ipad or sign some paperwork you even have a built-in pen holder on the side um it can't fit an apple pen so i tried it but hey you could fit a standard size pen and you can write some documents, sign some things, and you'll be good to go. This one, this one is gonna fit pretty much every stand wheel. I think if you have a truck with a, you know, enormous wheel, then you might have to buy something else. I'll probably link an alternative. And the setup is real easy. You just take the bottom portion of your wheel and you just put it on there. And that's it. You could do this with one hand and it's pretty sturdy too. 
So when you're eating, you're good. You can store your, your food, your cup, and you're good to go. Next up on the list, we have this car seat organizer. If you find yourself running out of space quickly, you might want to pick this up. This is going to help organize your belongings and it's also going to give you a cup holder and extra USBs for charging your devices. This is very handy if you want more USBs, another cup holder, who doesn't like cup holders? It just works. In order for you to use the USBs, you got to plug it into your cigar lighter. The stitching work is phenomenal. Very straight, no crookedness. And believe it or not, this matches perfectly with my Costoma red and black car mats. I don't have them on currently. I figure the black and white matches the aesthetics of my Honda Civic a little bit more better than the red. Originally, I was going to get some kind of seat covers in red and then have the red and black Costoma armor mats, but that just never happened and then COVID hit and then it was just a big mess. Now, I made a full-blown review video talking about these mats, so I throw in the description to both the review and best car accessories part two. And you have these little patterns here, so that's gonna help you know not scratch on your side interior it's gonna just it's just gonna just slide in there next up we have this car visor shield and sometimes the sunlight actually hinders your vision i don't know how people drive with the sun but sometimes now you're blocking your vision you have to kneel down just a little bit so you can see what's going on but with a visor you can see what's going on and then at the same time you're gonna see, you get what I'm saying? You're not gonna see as much sun. I've been using it for quite some time, it does work. Um, at first it was a little weird because it's so close to you, but you could pull it back, you could adjust it to your liking, and you should be good to go. It's very easy to set up, you just put it on, and you just put the Velcro, wrap it around, and you're good to go. Even though the clip, the clip is very secure, but having that Velcro is gonna just have it 100%, 110% secure. Now this particular model, this is for the sun daylight, but they do offer a night one. It is an all yellow tint. At night you have the other cars beaming their lights and sometimes that's hard to see. And having that visor is gonna help reduce the glare and strength eye fatigue. It's gonna help. Now, it wouldn't be a best car accessory without mentioning a dash cam. Every car accessory video, I always have some kind of dash cam on that list. We live in a time where you just got to have cameras around because now you have the police doing stuff and you have um, accidents happening, hit and runs happening. So having a dash cam, you always have that evidence right there in your possession. So this dash cam from Vantru, I stamp on it. I highly recommend it. I stand by Vantru. They make one of the best dash cams. It's very unique. I love the durability. I love the video quality, the microphone quality. You're just getting nothing but quality when you're going with Vantru. And they have a brand new series called a T3. I did make a video talking about the Vantru N4 triple camera setup. That is one of the best dash cams ever. It, you have protection in the front, the cabin interior, I should say, and you have protection on the back very convenient you have that all around protection but with this the t3 you only have one camera which is in the front and that's still good you can still have good protection in the front because even if they hit you on the side you can still see what's going on thanks to its ultra wide lens setup you can see what's going on and you have a a, a wide field of view that's what you call it but nothing is going to beat the n4 but the price tag is a little bit more money at $300, but I highly recommend that one. But if you're on the budget, the T3 is gonna suit you right. This is how my dash cam is looking. I have the wires run all the way up to the ODB and the cable management is on point. You guys can't even see it, but that little black outlines on the side, that's where I ran the wires and I just tucked it inside this little uh, pad in here. And then I opened up the door and then I tucked it in onto the side and I lift up my car mat and I just put it under there. Okay, so this is how it look. You mess with this instead of messing with the fuse box here. This is so much easier to do. I recommend it. And you just plug that sucker in and you're good to go. But then the ODB cable is gonna allow you to have your dash cam on at all times. So you gotta have that 24 seven surveillance now don't worry about your vehicle's battery because well if it's a low wattage onto the battery the dash cam is automatically going to stop recording so it's not going to be 100 percent dead but that's why it's good to always stop your car let the battery charge up once in a while now it doesn't take up that much power 
and especially if you have the screen off it's not gonna really utilize too much power to your vehicle's uh, battery now I have another dash cam on this list this is a Wi-Fi enabled dash cam it covers the front and the back and not the cabin or the interior is not gonna record you and the beauty thing about that one is Wi-Fi so you can check what's going on around your car I got that dash cam back in July but I ended up just giving it away to my uncle because my uncle he serviced my car he take care of it I said you know what man here's a dash cam you know and he didn't have one and he said he needed it so I just said you know what here here you go I connected my dash cam using the ODB cable it's just one port and everything is powering up the dash cam and currently my car is off the car is off right now and it is still recording um well i was messing around with the settings still recording still good money and nothing wrong at all now next up on the list we have a car charger but this is not no ordinary car charger this is a smart one you can be able to find your car this has a built-in gps so let's say you're in a huge parking lot and you don't know where you park your car you could be able to track it down and the app is gonna just guide you. Like it uses the accelerometer on your phone and you know, it gives you like a direction, like an arrow on where is your car located. So it's really awesome. But then also it monitors your car's battery. So it could be able to track your miles and you can see it on the app. And then not only that, you have a parking meter timer too. Zeus's parking meter prompts you to set an alert the moment you've stopped. Let it do the remembering for you. If somehow time gets away from you, Zeus has you covered with a 10 minute warning. Check the app whenever to see how long you have left. So if you have to pay for parking, it's gonna give you a timer on the app. So this car charger is simple, but it has a lot up its sleeves. All you guys gotta do is download the app, plug it in, and it's just gonna see it, tap on pair, and that's it. And right away you can see the voltage of your car now the tire pressure is gonna be something where you're gonna need the ODB. Uh, it cannot really get a good accurate representation. So the ODB is gonna be better, which they do offer for the health monitoring, but I just have the smart car charger. But yeah, guys, this car charger is something else. And on top of that, when you plug it in your devices, it's gonna charge your phone as quickly as possible. Now, there's no USB type C, it's just all USB A. And guys, that pretty much concludes the best car accessories part three. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. And yes, part two was such a masterpiece, such a phenomenal video. Part two just hit today at the time of this recording, just hit 1.1 million views, almost 30,000 likes. That video is just a certified masterpiece. All right, guys, until next time, peace.